Ciao a tutti and welcome to Nonna Gina's Food Adventures. I've been having so many people ask me about children's lunch boxes. They are out of ideas of what to do, something nice, healthy. What I say is make it interesting, make it fun. A little bit of initiative goes a long way. Now what I've got here, I've got some tiny little flour tortillas. They're only small, I'll show you in a moment. We have some a little tomatoes, absolutely gorgeous, some nice fresh lettuce, uh, some roast chicken that I had left over from last night, absolutely perfect, a little bit of ham, we have some nice fresh fruit, carrot sticks, watermelon, and we are going to make it interesting. We're going to cut them into little shapes and have a look. These are just my cookie cutters. And what I've chosen is a little heart and the moon. So when I send Cash off to, if he's here, I send him off to school, I say to him, I love you to the moon and back. So that's pretty cool. I've made some lavash crackers. Now these ones are white and black sesame seeds. You can do them in rounds. You can make them in long strips anything like that, the kids love them. They're very healthy, they're not fried, they're baked, great. And also I've got some cheese sticks, which I'm going to wrap one inside with some lettuce and then they can pick the other one and just eat it on its own. And of course, yogurt. No one wants a spoon with a cup to eat. A nice yogurt to go with the lunch, in the lunchbox, absolutely perfect. Okay, let's get on to it and let me show you how to make the most beautiful, delicious lunchbox that the kids will love to eat. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to do the fruit first because I just want to get the fruit all into here. I'll move these out of the way. <laughs> Okay, here's the finished lunchbox. Absolutely looks delicious. They have a beautiful balance of everything. Fresh, crunchy, something fun with the little cutouts from the watermelon. They have a nice wrap. But in saying that, obviously this quantity is probably for your primary, school age, even high school age. The only thing I didn't do, if you noticed, I didn't put tomato in the wraps because what happens when you put tomato? Everything will go soggy. So that's the idea of the tiny little tomatoes on the side. They can grab a wrap, grab a tomato, eat it on its own. How good is that? Now that is the first of a few in the series for kids lunch boxes on Nonna's food adventures. Thank you for watching Nonna Gina's funny, uh, blah, take two. <laughs> Thank you for watching Nona Gina's Food Adventures. Thank you for liking the video. And if you have any comments whatsoever, anything you'd like to know, don't forget to put them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that is Nona Gina's Food Adventures. Okay. Ciao, everyone. See you next time in my kitchen.